Charity is that with which no man is lost, and without which no man is saved. St. Robert Bellarmine. Hello, my friends, and welcome to True Heroes. Today we are going to talk about the Jesuit, St. Robert Bellarmine, who spent his life, as many others did, defending the teachings of the Catholic Church against the fractured Protestant churches. The name Robert comes from the German Prodebert, I think that's right, meaning bright fame. Let us begin his story. Born at Montepulciano in Italy, October 4th, 1542, St. Robert Bellarmine was the third of ten children. His mother, Shinzia Cervini, a niece of Pope Marcellus II, was dedicated to almsgiving, prayer, meditation, fasting, and mortification of the body. When Robert Bellarmine was ordained a priest in 1570, he devoted his energy to the study of church history and the fathers of the church as well as to scripture in order to systematize church doctrine against the attacks of the Protestant reformers. Robert entered the newly formed Society of Jesus in 1560, and after his ordination went on to teach at Louvain, where he became famous for his Latin sermons. In 1576, he was appointed to the Chair of Controversial Theology at the Roman College, becoming rector in 1592. He went on to become Provincial of Naples in 1594 and was made a cardinal by Pope Clement VIII on the grounds that, quote, he had not his equal for learning, unquote. While he occupied apartments in the Vatican, Bellarmine relaxed none of his former austerities. He limited his household expenses to what was barely essential, eating only the food that was available to the poor. He was known to have ransomed a soldier who had deserted from the army, and he used the hangings of his rooms to clothe poor people, remarking, quote, the walls won't catch cold, unquote. Among many activities, Bellarmine became a theologian to Pope Clement VIII, preparing two catechisms which have had great influence in the church. This saint was the spiritual father of Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, who had also joined the Jesuit order and was known for his purity and incredible mortification. He ended up dying at a very young age, uh, around 23 years old, of the plague. St. Robert Bellarmine also helped St. Francis de Sales obtain formal approval of his Order of the Visitation, whose aim was to secure the benefit of the religious life for persons who did not have the physical strength for the corporal austerities at that time general in religious orders. St. Robert Bellarmine has also left us a host of important writings, including works of devotion and instruction. This outstanding scholar and devoted servant of God defended the apostolic see against the anti-clericals in Venice and against the political tenets of James I of England. James I sanctioned harsh measures to control English Catholics. In May 1606, Parliament passed an act which could require any citizen to take an oath of allegiance denying the Pope's authority over the king. James was conciliatory towards Catholics who took the oath of allegiance and tolerated crypto-Catholicism even at court. Henry Howard, for example, was a crypto-Catholic received back into the Catholic Church in his final months. On ascending the English throne, James suspected that he might need the support of Catholics in England, so he assured the Earl of Northumberland, a prominent sympathizer of the old religion, that he would not persecute, quote, any that will be quiet and give but an outward obedience to the law, unquote. St. Robert Bellarmine composed an exhaustive apologetic work against the prevailing heretics of his day. Uh, apologetic here does not mean that he was sorry, 
Apologetic simply means defend, to defend something. So it was a work in defense of the faith. Already at this point, Protestants were breaking off and choosing the different teachings they want to believe and leaving the others, which is, of course, why they're called heretics. The word heretic comes from the Greek meaning to choose, because a heretic is one who chooses what teachings he wants to believe rather than anything, everything that is revealed by God. St. Robert Bellarmine died on September 17th in 1621. The process for his canonization was begun in 1627, but was delayed until 1930. So in 1930, Pope Pius XI canonized him and the next year declared him a doctor of the church. He is the patron saint of catechists, so those are those who teach the catechism, and also the patron saint of catechumens, those who are looking to become Catholic but have not been baptized yet but are learning the rudiments of the faith. Thank you all for joining me. Tomorrow is the feast of St. Boniface of Tarsus, another martyr of the 4th century. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. St. Robert Bellarmine, pray for us.